This documentary is brought to you by the Bulaya Progressive Residents Association, Bupra. Bupra is a community-based and membership-driven organization established in 2007 as a non-partisan platform to promote effective residents and stakeholder interaction and participation in local governance. Vuzu parties have become a huge source of concern for the people of Bulawayo. These parties, organized by youths, especially school-going children below the age of 18, have got the city worried about a generation fast losing its way. The parties are characterized by drug and alcohol abuse and sexual orgies that have shocked stakeholders in the city. The media has been awash with stories of stomach-turning goings-on at these parties. The Bulaya Progressive Residents Association has been working with a number of stakeholders in the city to find a lasting solution to the Vuzu problem. In this documentary, we unravel the Vuzu problem. We speak to youths that have been active in the organizing and participating in the parties. We also talk to stakeholders on the way forward in addressing a problem that threatens to destabilize the city and rob it of the best of its young people. Bupra Vice Chairperson raises an alarm on the scourge of Uvuzu parties. Uvuzu party jongo mtar, jongo mtar. E mwa kanga de ruti ma biya kuh. Mwa aya pambani sa avantu anana kuh. Aksara <laughs> Mobasia was good with the doctor of Mutua. Mutuana Bede and Agumede Avigui. A dime a vigui. Mobanga Vigadwana, Mutuana, I would have done as in the lion, whether it was in so this cat. Bess and we are good of wood, a mavos of party with him, Marvinan. Nichuti, a woman was a party who tatua is the Ramizo. We are we are a matansini, a man to save a natty, save a taggy way, save a tag is the Ramizo. Bangi and a benze. Uguya Utansi Bena Vigeda. The success of Guti Avant and Alava Bangene in Kusa, Slim Kusa and Catis, Yonade Matansi, or Sifili so Conorio Ban, or to a Massidi, who sitting a single Mamasi. We spoke to one youth, KB, who used to organize the Vuzus, and he shares how the Vuzus started and how they are organized. Okay, for me, I just caught up with the way I was in school. I think I was in home four. So we have like sessions where it's like Saturday. There's no plan. You don't have the plan. No, before that there were clubs that used to be to operate during the day. Like Abu, there was a club called Saban. Yeah, Saban. So they were closed at the time. So people opted to do normal house party. So you got say the house party. Maybe it's in Kumari or so, 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 but it's, it's just all from a text message. Someone takes me that address and tell us what's going to happen there. Then, for boys, obviously, you pay, then for girls, you pay. Then you attend the alcohol. People that are on weed, that drink weed. What a child, I didn't know about child's good thing. You did just, 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 just whatever you want to do, and just have fun. You know, like with their kids, and there's no adult and so But then, at that time, they were limited at like the time. Maybe a party that maybe two, and then maybe end at around six. Then maybe go again. It's not different from now, where because of I don't know, maybe it's because of the city council or how parents are now becoming more strict, or the police. Now that children don't have much of these things options to go to. Because back then the option maybe it's in Kumar, there's another one in the inside. There are many options that you can do. But at six, you know that it's one. So now I feel like. It's changing this thing for the people. It's actually important. Now these kids are often to go to the club. And some of these young girls, they look mature, but they are. So they hope to do those kind of things. But that's how we start. Like someone is more famous from the school or so, St. James is going just sit there. Another youth, Mandla, who also participated in the Vuzu parties, 
describes a sexual orgy he participated in involving seven boys and one girl. And then I remember when you came to me, I said to him, "Tana, why you want to move safe from Stinja?" Okay, I want to save you. I did Timari. By then, Timari was going to be safe. So I was safe in one. So I was with you. I did Timari. Okay, she never. Yeah. So he introduced us to another one. Why come we not to Stinja? We want to have a stay at Tanda Park. We want to import the one to the water. The water is so so so. We go to another. JB goes on to say that the girls they sleep with at the Vuzu parties are as young as 15. They are plied with alcohol and the boys have discovered that a cocktail of a cider called Storm and a spirit called Russian Bay is the quickest way of loosening up the girls, making it easy to sleep with them. According to Anele, the Vuzus happen on any day. The key is to find vulnerable young people, especially those with parents in the diaspora, since there is little parental supervision. Then so we was a party. Like most of the money feel every Saturday. I feel a chunny cool now. Like this is so so many so many so that I'm a police as a lead. Okay, mostly I'm a Vuzu. Um, they are constantly big boobies and they say Munga no happen. Then you see the camp of Punanga, the more Vuzu, and they're very young and that in Stakabo. And then Sophia and Hardy, you find the witty two senses missing. Like, okay, ma, one at a Then <laughs> sports <laughs> can't expect them to go to bar. There's less for children to do in the city. There's no a recreational center where people can play. You can't expect them to go to the park. It's old and the people that hang there are not the people that maybe kids want to associate with. So people, so, so these children are looking for fun. Maybe home is boring. 
one like even the current situation there's no CS at home what you expect them to do? they can't be at home so they need things to do and i feel like they need to be maybe the city council or whoever has to to give them like a platform where they can like maybe express their creativity in a way for some people some children like artists and things like that so because they don't have like many of those platforms that's why they all to go to those parties they are bored flower is boring even for for the older guys is boring because even if you are someone who does the nightlife how many places can you go to you don't even have many options so i feel like if we give these children somewhere where they can engage some way older people can monitor them it's much better i think um the best advice that i would say is okay fun fun is important but at the same time you need fun that is that is going to be like compatible with your future you need something that even 10 years time when you look back at it you're not ashamed you need to be wise because some people from this voodoo party some people got hooked on drugs they're still hooked on drugs but you need to, to have fun that's limited and fun that is healthy and, and safe Sustainable solution has to be child-centered and help to create a healthy environment for them to grow up in. The solution must address the root causes of the problem and avoid peppering over the issue. But when I'm done that, because maybe you cannot do something, you might say, like, hey, food, we buy you to go and buy that, that uh, alcohol for us. And then also come and say, well, there's been this other misconception in the Yama Fest in the last days. We blame the poor waters. Allow me to say poor waters. Why you are about to be then we assume that they are also part of what Mabuzu Party is. But as we speak right now, somewhere, somewhere in this city, a Mabuzu Party or two are happening. So, we don't have to go and organize the Mabuzu Party. warns that without a sustained, well-thought-out strategy, Vuzu parties will not be successfully tackled. What kind of stringent laws are you putting against these things that will then help? Because young people, all they know is that, ah, I got arrested. It's going to be a cool thing. I got arrested. I went to Central. I'm out. You know, I paid a fine. Let's do it again. It becomes an, a thing that will actually help these Vuzu parties to actually go crazy. So I think... Um, there has to be structures put in place that are going to actually help in terms of monitoring. Let's help that. Let's see where we can monitor how police can be involved, how um, the, the law society can be involved. They can come in with ways of trying to bring about moral laws because this is more a morality issue than anything else. And then the church plays a part. Like for instance, if these kids that were caught, there's 130 kids, what happened after that? Was there any counseling that was done? Was there any follow-up done for them, the 130 whatever kids that were, that, that were arrested? Did those police take the information of those kids and said, you're not living here until your parents or guardian comes to pick you up? And in that case, we have parachurch organizations that are already standing by to then make sure that there will be a counseling session that takes place between the guardian or the parent of this of this child and at the same time also monitoring because some of these kids can then call a friend and say yo um, a friend who's older and say come and get me out of jail you're my uncle so how are we monitoring that so I think it's there's more to it than just talking about it in terms of um, who is to blame or who's at fault no the problem is there now let's try and come up with solutions for the problem. Not trying to point a finger to say, are ah, the parents that are in diaspora, they're trying to make a living. You can't blame them. They're trying to work for their children so that the children can survive. So it, I don't think the, the thing is about blaming someone, but I think the issue is that now this problem is here, how do you deal with it?
Wensoft. A rehabilitation expert, Mtanda Zondlovu, concurs with that creating safe spaces to entertain and educate themselves would go a long way in dealing with the Vuzu parties. It's, it's the Vuzu term going about, aren't you? Yeah. And then when we look at it, the bracketing factor is entertainment, yeah. enjoyment coming from the youth. And so the whole thing that is there is we need then to identify yeah. where is the mind of the youth in terms of uh, enjoyment. So you look, they're taking themselves out, so we call it an excursion, an entertainment excursion. So then why not, even as a city, identify places where we say, okay, five minutes, these are safe places for entertainment excursions. Take them out to a place where by fun we've got the DJs that they love, but that place could be drug-free and sex-free. No sex, no drugs there. We make sure that things are uptight there. And then also, in the momentum, instead of having what they call Vuzu parties, then we call those vision parties. Why am I saying vision parties? We then bring in motivational speakers that speaks to them and activates them. With no daughter, this is where you can go, this is where you can be. As they enjoy themselves, they're also what? Educated. Yeah. So it also becomes a zone of interest for them. With La Panacea Colesa, and also we get a resource information of who we are and how to bring ourselves for the future. So we, we, we really need to do those boot camps. Because in those boot camps, we can then even be able to set as what Nama Adolas and counselors. So that it becomes a safe space, a kid that has been having a problem at home knows what okay, I'm talking to a counselor, and in the midst of the music, I'm being helped. Kids that are probably of these other issues, whether it's drug and substance abuse or sex issues, there's a specialist that can also be talking. No, 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 no. This is the route. You shouldn't be doing it this way. And those that need help, maybe that center can then even be a conduit of help. Which is perfect. Okay, do you want to withdraw from substance abuse? Then we set a proper even there. But when they're coming in during those holidays, it's a time for total recovery for them, for the pet. And they are saying we've got a lot of work from yeah. school, yeah. right? And we're saying, okay, we are throwing up this place to you so that you unload. Yeah. And in also there are lot things that they have, but they have been exposed to these substances. Some have, have had, uh, look at the girl child, maybe, or Pongo had sex. Yeah. And now he's very like saying, but what did I do? So if we create that space, so he, that child can find somebody to speak to. Yeah. And then it was, no, that wasn't the end of the world. Now put yourself right. Yeah, we collective place for the young person and activate them for their vision and destiny. I think we really need that as a city. We make the city Vuzulis, but visionful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The Vuzu parties are an urgent problem requiring immediate solutions. If left unchecked, there is the danger of losing future generations to drug and alcohol abuse, not to mention the sexual immorality. Something must be done, and done very fast, or we will soon be singing. Safa Sapela Isizwe. You can also become a member of Bulawayo Progressive Residents Association by joining the BPRA structure in your ward. Visit our officer at 409 4th Floor Fidelity Life Center at the corner of 11th Avenue and 5th Street in Bulawayo. You can also call us on 029-61196. You can also follow us on our social media pages BPRA. Uchelo Luizakamizi.